All right, guys, today we're going to talk about electrical power, all right? You already know that power is measured in watts because when we talked about work and energy uh, and doing work, we talked about what power was. Power is measured in watts. Power is how fast you can do work. Now, when we talk about work, what is one watt? What is one watt? One watt is equal to one joule of work done for every one second, okay? So in case you don't remember, power is equal to work divided by time. But now when we're talking about electrical power, really it's the same thing, all right? Let's go back and let's remember that Ohm's law is V equals IR, volts, amps, ohms. So the formula for electrical power is P is equal to IV. So in other words, one watt is equal to one amp coming out of a one volt battery. So a one volt battery pumping out one amp of current is going to do one watt. Or in other words, one amp of electricity being pushed by a one volt battery is going to do one joule of work per second. So the power is a pretty simple thing. Let's think about a 60 watt light bulb and this formula. A 60 watt light bulb is plugged into a 120 volt outlet. 120 volts, that's the outlet in your home. How much current draw is there? P is equal to IV. All right, you're going to say, okay, 60 watts divided by 120 volts gives me 0 0.5 amps of current. All right? Now, what if you don't have that information available? What if you had a problem like you have 120 volts and you're running them through a 200 ohm resistor? What is the power? You may say, well, I can't do that because all I know is that P is equal to IV. And I would say you would be able to do this problem because V is equal to IR. All right? Now, look, we have a V and an R here. All right? So we got the V and the R. Hmm. Hmm. Let's take this equation right here and put it into this equation. If V is equal to IR, then I could just say that this V right here was IR. And then that will give you P is equal to I times I times R, or P is equal to I squared times R. All right? Is that going to help us solve this, volts and ohms? No, it's not. Well, we've got P is equal to IV. No, that's our original formula. How about instead of substituting the V, let's substitute for the I here. If we switch this equation around, we know that I is equal to V over R. So I can change this I right here to V over R. So now we have P is equal to V squared over R. Now will that help us solve this, this problem? Yes. We could say P is equal to V squared over R. 120 volts squared with a 200 ohm resistor. How much power is being used in this situation? Well, we could grab the calculator and we could say, all right, 100, 120 volts squared divided by 200 ohm resistor, that's 72 watts. That'd be a 72 watt light bulb or motor or whatever that was. Let's try some other problems like this. How about you have a problem like this? You have, this would be a lot, 30 amps of current. 30 amps of current are running through a 300 ohm resistor. 
how much power is being used? What is the power of this? Well, we have these formulas. We have P is equal to IV. We have P is equal to I squared R. And we have P is equal to V squared over R. Which one of these formulas for power would be the best one to use for 30 amps running through a 300 ohm resistor? I think we would have got amps and ohms. P is equal to I squared times R. P is equal to I squared times R. So how much power is being used, all right? 30 amps squared times our 300 ohm resistor. What do you think the answer will be here? 30 squared times 300 ohms gives us 270,000 watts. 270,000 watts. Wow. Let's think of a, a better way to put this. How about this? 270 kilowatts. Hmm. Now, why is this so high? Because 30 amps is a massive, massive current draw, especially across, especially across such a strong resistor. But you know what? Seeing this little thing, kilowatts here, that makes me think of something. What does kilowatts make me think? Makes me think of my power bill, okay? Your power bill, when your parents are billed, they're billed in units called kilowatt hours. And it means 1,000 watts of electricity being used for an entire hour. That's what a kilowatt hour is. And I think, and look, I'm probably wrong, but I think around here we place something like 14 cents per kilowatt hour. And let's just use this number whether I'm right or wrong. I mean, I don't know. How about this? What if you had a light bulb, an old-fashioned 60-watt light bulb, and you left that on all day in your bedroom, and then your dad got home and he was like, Hey! You left this light bulb on, and I always tell you to turn the lights off. And that's what my dad used to do, okay? So he's upset about this. Well, you can say, okay, Dad, let's say I was going to school. I left this 60-watt light bulb on, and I was gone for eight hours. Let me calculate how much money that I just cost you, okay? 60 watts. How many kilowatts would that be? It would be 60 is 0 0.06 of 1,000, right? So 0 0.06 kilowatts. And you left that thing on for eight hours. So that's going to give you 0.48 kilowatt hours. Does that make sense to you? 0.48 kilowatt hours. So, hmm, let's see how much that costs you. You have 48% of 14 cents. 0.48 times 14. 0.48 times 0.14. You just cost your dad 6.7 cents. Hmm. You'd probably not be too happy if you said, hey, that just cost you 6.76. Since get off my back, get off my back, Dad. Uh, let's take a look. Let's try to do a couple of these. Let's say you're cooking a meal. My microwave is an 1100 watt microwave, and it's a pretty average, unimpressive microwave. All right, I'm gonna cook a frozen dinner, and I have to run this 1100 watt microwave. I read the directions. And it tells me to microwave my frozen dinner for 20 minutes. Okay? How much money would that cost me? All right, I'm going to work you through this problem. And we're going to say it's 14 cents per kilowatt hour. 1,100 watts. How many kilowatts is that? That's right, it's 1.1 kilowatts. 
and you're going to be burning that kilowatts for 20 minutes. How many hours is 20 minutes? Well, you could say, okay, 20 out of 60.33. So 1.1 kilowatts for 0.33 hours. And we can multiply it times our money right here in the formula times 0 0.14 or 14 cents per kilowatt hour. All right. 1100 watt microwave for 0.33 hours at 14 cents per each hour equals 0 0.05. 0 0.05, 0 0.05. Now there's, this had a problem here. I've just made a mistake. I feel, let's, let's, let's try this. 1.1 times 0.33 times 0.14 equals, yeah, looks like about five cents. Looks like that costs about five cents to cook that meal. I feel like this 60 watt bulb for eight hours, let's go back and do that one again. 0 0.06 times eight times 0.14. Hmm. 0 0.067. And this 1.1 times 0.33 times 0.14 was 0 0.05, so it looks like that's right. Only five cents to run that microwave and do your food, but 6.7 cents to leave your 60 watt light bulb on all day. Hmm, was not expecting that. All right, let's try one more here. Let's try one more. Let's say you are gonna run your dryer, okay? You're on your dryer and your clothes dryer, and your, your dryer, let's say it draws 1,500 watts, and you're going to dry your clothes. You're going to run it for 40 minutes, 40 minutes, and it's $0.14, dollars, 14 cents per kilowatt hour. Come up with how much it costs you to dry those clothes. All right, here we go. 1,500 watts is 1.5 kilowatts. Four, 40 minutes is 0.67 hours. At 14 cents per kilowatt hour, 1.5 times 0.67 times 0.14 equals, costs you 14 cents. 14 cents to dry those clothes. I hope this helped.